So I started working an evening a week in July 1980. Within a year after that, what came to be known as the AIDS epidemic hit and Fenway really was ground zero for the community response uh, to the early epidemic in Boston. You know, initially there wasn't a lot of attention to the emerging AIDS epidemic in the Reagan administration, but eventually the National Institutes of Health did get funding and we were one of the first sites in the country to start recruiting people for HIV vaccine trials. That initial work in HIV AIDS has expanded over the years and it really prepared us to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic uh, incredibly well. Fenway is one of about four sites in Boston now uh, that's funded by the NIH to do uh, HIV research. And at the end of March 2020, Dr. Fauci said to the leadership of all these networks, we have this great infrastructure for doing clinical trials. Now, the most important thing as a society we need to do is show that COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. So you sites are essentially going to be doing the COVID vaccine trials. The staff were totally motivated and worked brilliantly in terms of trying to figure out ways to educate the community, engage the community, and educate providers. During COVID-19, we had a greater opportunity to understand how to access folks during a time where we weren't interacting with each other physically. We really learned about all the different ways to reach people. Text messaging for folks who've been on Zoom or who've been on the phone and they wanna be reached in different ways. Folks that might need a letter actually sent. Folks that do need a phone call. Evolving through a very ever-changing time has given us the opportunity to reach people and spaces that we hadn't before. Black and Indigenous people of color are greatly underrepresented in research in general. And so using our COVID-19 vaccine trial as an example, we wanted to be clear about how we're investing in the community. We are working together to understand how to better serve the Black community in Boston. We're really excited by that, really energized by that. Every day we learn about different things that we can do to connect closely to people and allow them to feel independent and have autonomy and agency over their health and what they participate in and how they contribute to our work. The great thing about Fenway is that we can go from concept to actual implementation that can have an impact in the life of the community. We keep striving to do better and trying to expand and trying to be more responsive to the diversity of the communities that we serve.